Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your mid-July reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the middle of July. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to get you and the other person, or you and the other person, whichever way, whichever way it goes, you pick, you pick what side, and we're just going to see what comes up mid-July. So what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have? Ooh, well, spinner. Ooh, gee, well, we get a loss here. We do have a loss. Somebody's losing something, losing an opportunity, okay? They're losing something that was, well, they're, they're, <laughs> This is a loss of something that you can touch, okay? Something that you could hold on to is, is slipping away. Whether this is you or the other person, somebody is losing something. Well, well. Well. <laughs> oh. We're going to get Ten of Cups reverse. Loss of a re this This person. Huh. Whew. Now that, that right there, this is, this is, this, this is the strength card reversed. There's a loss of willpower, a loss of strength over here, no willpower. We could be dealing with a coward, I mean, a weak, no relationship, you know, not focused on a relationship, ten of cups reversed, seven of wands, protection, defensive, defending defending themselves we got somebody here that is needing to defend themselves or is in defense mode not focused on a relationship at all there could be relationship problems or family problems interesting somebody's trying to protect themselves Withholding love, withholding love. I mean, the, this is the Prince of Cups. This is this is basically the Knight of Cups reversed. There's no relationship growth here for this side. It's like there's no relationship going anywhere right here. There's no relationship growth. Somebody is defense in defense mode. Hmm. Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands. Now this is this is. Act, take action, acting, taking action right now, impulsive action. Time is of the essence. Somebody's moving very quickly in a new direction because there's no relationship growth here. I gotta do. I gotta protect myself. I gotta do what's right for me. Ooh, the high priestess reversed. I, I feeling. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to feel alone. Somebody has been. Um, hasn't been honoring their gut. But now they are seeing the light. They're accepting the truth. They're seeing the truth in a situation. The two of swords reverse. It's like the lies are being exposed or the truth is being exposed. So somebody is taking action. Okay, somebody is taking action to move in another direction. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What it, whatever is going on here, it's like, this is acceptance. It is, it's acceptance of the truth. It's time to move on. You could be dealing with somebody who, you know, the, the strength reversed. I mean, that is, I mean, I don't know where the word coward came up with, came up, but it did. You think about strength. I mean, the opposite, opposite of strength, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who, you know doesn't follow through, wasn't, won't open up, somebody that lacks discipline within themselves, somebody that, you know, when I saw this, I saw the scales. 
So I was a little confused. I was because it says adjustment. So I was thinking that this was the the uh, justice card, but it's an eight. So this could be. I mean, I would. I could have sworn. I don't read the books. You know that I don't. Okay. I would have sworn this was the justice card, but justice is not the number eight. Okay. So going against the books. See, yeah, this looks like the justice card to me. But the eight signifies strength. So this kind of confu and this is very confusing. This this person may has have, have caused whoever this person is. They have may may have caused a lot of confusion, and it feels like to whoever this person is, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say this person doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions in any way. They may have blocked you, or you may have blocked them. It's like, but they're blocking the truth, and it's like you probably know the truth. It's written, and, and and you may have been denying your gut, you know, for some time or something like that. Somebody may not have been listening to the messages that they were getting with the high priestess reverse, but now it's like that they, they see the truth. It's time to take action, swift action, you know. So we got somebody over here that is, you know, who, who has basically decided to, you know protect themselves and do what's right from them and let go of this it feels like we have a, a person over here that that that, that, that lacks integrity that lacks um, accountability you know that whoever this person is this person doesn't want to be held accountable for any of their actions whatsoever and I feel like whoever this person is they may be you know Well, somebody hasn't been following their intuition. They haven't been listening. They may think that they know. They may think that they're the high priestess, but they're not. It's in reversed. You know, they haven't really been listening. This person is very, very defensive. This person, you know, may be in denial about something, about their part in in the situation, about they may be in denial about, you know, their whatever happened, you know, has anything to do with them, you know, none of this is my fault, you know, that kind of thing. Let's go over here. Let's see about this side. What do we got over here for Scorpio? Ooh. Prince of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed. Now the Prince... We got somebody over here that is <laughs> well this is not practical it's not stable it's not solid it's time for me to put my effort and work on something else we have somebody that's been working really really hard putting in a lot of effort to probably let go of this person but they've been in no hurry to do so there could be a lack of confidence here. The Emperor. The Tower Revert verse. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. Which is probably this person. Trying to remain in control. Trying to remain structured. Trying to keep things as they are. Right? But it's a false sense of security. Somebody's been working hard, perhaps trying to rebuild a foundation with somebody or to be rebuild a connection that, you know, it's not happening. It's not happening. There's nothing solid. There's nothing stable here. This guy has made a decision to take back control of his life. I'm taking back control. I'm taking the power. I'm taking the lead. I'm the boss. Oh, getting out of this competition. I'm done playing this game. So we got somebody over here who is done playing the game with this person who doesn't want to be held accountable. This person is very impulsive. This person isn't really focused on the relationship. This person may pretend that they know it all. They may think that they know it all with the high priestess. You know, I'm they're know-it-all. This person is a know-it-all. But this person, this person may 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 communicate at times, you know, that they might might they might be thinking about getting back in the relationship, or 
they may be sending mixed signals that mixed signals that they 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 want to get back into the relationship you know they're they, they're playing games this person is you know it's like leading leading them on and then dropping them leading and dropping leading and dropping you know so whoever this person is, it's like they're the, with the with the Prince of Cups reverse. It's like this person, you know, they may they may send loving messages or, or one minute and the next minute they're they're they they don't like you. You know what I mean? There's there's duality here. Okay, this is duality. The Two of Swords. This is like a two faced individual, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I feel like this person. Um, You know, doesn't this is very impulsive energy? Doesn't really think before they act, and that is the knight of the knight of wands. That is that's what this is. This person doesn't think before they act. They act impulsively, and I think this person has made the decision to not play this game, but they were reluctant to let go, and they put in effort for quite some time. But I think with their, this person is now accepting the loss. Because this is a false contract. There's there's no coming together here. There's there's no compatibility. There's no, you know, this isn't meant to be. And I think this person sees it. They realize it. Um, it's just it was just probably just a karmic contract of, of some sort. Um, it's like this contract is is not. It's it's too insecure. It's it's on thin ice. There's no stability here. So yeah, I feel like we have this person over here that is working hard to release, working hard to accept, re working hard to step out of this 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 player's game. Okay? Letting it go. I'm letting it, I'm letting this contract go. There's nothing stable here. Yeah, there's there's no coming together with this person. This is the Temperance card reversed. There's no coming together. There's 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 no balance here. There's no harmony. There's no seeing eye to eye with this person. So I think that we got somebody here that over on this side that has decided to take control. Decided to be the boss. Because they realize that they can't, you know, escape the reality. This isn't this isn't it's not practical. It's not practical practical for me to allow myself to be a victim to this person who is so impulsive and doesn't know what they want. This person doesn't know what they want. Um, yeah, this person is is very confused. The Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. This person um, has other options. This person is looking for other options. This person is keeping their options open. This person has probably already walked away, but they want to keep you as an option as well, you know, just to fall back on, to get emotional support from here and there. There's that Knight of Wands. What the hell is this? Prince of Wands. Maybe this is the Page of Wands. Either way, it makes sense. I mean, it's the same thing. It is the same thing, except that this is an exciting new opportunity. So this person probably is looking for a new suitor, somebody better suited for them. And this person may have somebody coming into their life very, very quickly. So this person may be, you know, this person, this is, I would say that, you know, that really looks like justice to me. It really does, even though it's an eight. And I go by the, the, the illustrations. I really do. So this right here, it's like this, this person isn't probably telling the whole truth. This person probably is dealing with another person. This person is very, very impulsive. This person probably runs when things get rough. They don't stick around. They're not going to be held accountable. I have other options. I'm out. So I feel like this person is very impulsive. This person is not really focused on a relationship. They're not. This isn't love. It's not love. It's not. It's not. This person is emotionally unavailable. They're, they're, it's not, they're not in it for love. They're in it for attention. To have somebody to fall back on. This person over here, you know, I think this person over here is standing in their power, taking back control of their life. 
death. Holding on to that dead end. This person has been holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. It's got to the point where I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. It's gotten too old. This game that this person is playing has gotten too old. And uh, so I feel like we have we have a, a a new relationship coming. I feel like there's a new friendship that is blossoming. Somebody may be out. So you, this person is probably deciding to socialize. Maybe deciding to date again. Maybe you know going out and deciding to open up, starting to um, put themselves out there, working hard, maybe mingling, working hard to just let this person drop away. They're still back and forth. They're still looking. There's still observation. There's still some animosity here. They're still dealing with probably communicating with this person. I think we have this person here that is still a little... Um, bitter about this individual who left them high and dry. I do feel like for this person there is somebody coming in very very quickly. There's somebody over here that is coming in very 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 quickly. So this I'm just changing it up now because there's so many people watching this. For this person over here that has taken back control of their life, that has taken the lead, that has decided to be the boss and let this false contract drop away, let it go, okay? For this person that has decided to do that, has decided to do that, there's somebody coming in very, very quickly that is probably well suited for you. It's not the one that doesn't want to be held accountable. It's not that person. It's somebody new, okay? There's somebody that could be coming in if you're single and you have taken back control. There's somebody probably f just uh, uh, rushing right into your life. Even though you may not be in a hurry, this person is probably, you know, well, this person is impulsive, but this person could be very well suited for you. This person may, may excite you, but you may decide that, you know, this is unstable. You may decide that this person is too impulsive. This person is too... Um, Rishi washy you may see that this person has other options you may feel like there's no relationship going to come out of this because this person doesn't stick around this person may come just to have sex and leave i mean i'm just being honest with you so i mean this could go so many ways like i i could keep going but this is dating we have somebody over here that is dating that is celebrating that is putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work to to letting go of this false contract and i feel like um, four of swords this is the death of an idea so somebody is letting go of the idea of reconciling reconciling with the wrong one and they're ready to uh, mingle and date and socialize and I feel like somebody is coming in but whoever this person is I don't feel like they're going to stick around I don't I don't um, this person's ready to live again this person is ready to live again after holding on and this person is is impulsive that's coming in or it's the person that you're dealing with so that's what i got good luck